Well, the History Center in Cedar Rapids is home to a new train, and this morning Josh Scheinblum has a behind-the-scenes look of what you can expect to see if you stop by. Josh, good morning. Hey, guys, how you doing? Welcome aboard. The Joshua Train. This morning we are here live at the History Center and you get the opportunity if you come here to play conductor. Right now I'm uh, wearing my little conductor's hat there. You can see that's always fashionable when you are driving a train like this. And this morning we're going full throttle and there is a good reason for it. Today they're giving us a behind the scenes look at one of the newest train displays that they've set up here. It really is truly impressive. It helps replicate what life used to look like for Cedar Opinions back in the year 1945. Let's take a look around here right now. Chances are a lot of these spots here look very familiar. We're right, looking right now right around the Second Avenue area. We've got First Avenue. Obviously, you can see the Quaker Oats building. But to help put into perspective just how far we've come since that time, we have a historian friend here with us. His name is Mark. Mark, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the changes we've seen over the last few years and some of the things that are here that are no longer in existence? Yeah, quite a few things have uh, changed over here on First Avenue. Uh, we've got the, uh, the old Allison Hotel over here on the left. Beyond that is the building that is still here, Theater Cedar Rapids, which was once the Iowa Theater. And you can see the old Ear of Corn sign down there. We have an old Chicago Northwestern Freight House across First Avenue here, where the U.S. Cellular Center is now. And uh, beyond that, a couple of the older hotels that featured some of the uh, downtown restaurants and nightclubs. Uh, Dance Line Ballroom was just a site of uh, many entertainment events. And as you said over here beyond here, the, uh, pretty close to where the interstate comes through downtown Cedar Rapids now between the U.S. Cellular Center and Quaker Oats. And we have uh, representations of at least one of the old warehouses that were over here and those uh, in the past as well. So it's, it's a great opportunity to kind of get a feel for what downtown looked like at the, uh, at the height of passenger rail travel. Um, uh, service in downtown Cedar Rapids. Well, Mark, we've covered a lot of things at museums that help yeah. open up the past. And I have to say, I think that a train is, is certainly one of the cool ways to do it, a model Thank train. You. Thank you so much you for bet. joining us here yeah. this morning, Mark. And my friends, coming up in the next 30 minutes, we're going to show you another exhibit in addition to some of the details they have here uh, in this train. It really is very cool and it's part of a whole larger program they're doing of transportation in the Cedar Rapids area. So make sure you stay with us. A lot of fun ahead our way. For now, we are covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids. Josh Scheinblum, CBS 2 News. Josh, you're the handsomest conductor we ever did see. Well, tell me something I don't know, Joy. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that, sir. Now